So I made my first AI video in April of 2023, this one right here about Leonardo. And you may be wondering, it's been a while uh, since then, have people been making money selling AI designs on t-shirts? In this video, I'm gonna share with you 20 examples of people who did, and I'm also gonna show you the niches that they're in. You don't wanna miss this. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk all about AI designs, especially on t-shirts. Now, uh, when looking in, I think a lot of people are thinking that you can't make designs or you can't use AI to make designs on t-shirts because if you look at the top sellers, um, they're not on there. Most of them are text t-shirts, especially on Amazon. And I'm gonna show you that that's not exactly true. Uh, although the top sellers are not AI designs, you can still make a ton of money um, with AI designs on t-shirts and there are special niches um, that work better for these. Now it doesn't work for every niche. You may not see Halloween designs on there. You may not see Thanksgiving designs, but you may see some of these other designs that I'm going to show you, show you on this video. I'm going to share with you 20 designs. I'm going to share with you five different niches that this would work on or AI designs work better on in Amazon or on Amazon because we can see on Amazon very quickly um, how many sales when they were uploaded and things like that so i'm going to use pretty merch on amazon i'm going to show you what kinds of designs you may want to try if you're looking into ai designs what niches you may want to try uh, using those ai designs for and none of these have any words and they're still making lots of sales so let's get into it let's get into pretty merch right now and i'll show you everything that i found all right, so here we are on Pretty Merch Pro Plus. I got the research tab here. And the reason why I'm using Pretty Merch Pro Plus and Amazon, uh, and I'm not showing Redbubble and TeePublic and stuff, and it's because you can see a lot more data here. And this would, I, I would hope that these same niches are gonna work for Redbubble, TeePublic, and all those other ones. And Etsy, uh, you could use Etsy and you could use Cody's Everbee app on Etsy, but I don't sell on Etsy, so I'm not that familiar with Etsy. I am familiar with Amazon, by the way. Um, so I have this research tab and you can get it too if you want to, uh, Pretty Merch Pro Plus. But the thing I love about this is it's right here on my Amazon Merch dashboard, first of all, and then we can see uh, how many sales, what it's sold for, and so on, right? And this, these are the top sellers by default. They have the top sellers and I just wanna make a comment on this. This is not to do with AI, but if you're selling Taylor Swift t-shirts, um, man, you're gonna get taken down. I would, this is not a good strategy. I know it's really, really popular right now and you can get a lot of sales, but uh, your account may be taken down if if you're you know taking a chance on Taylor Swift. But anyway, if we look through here, um, this is why people think AI designs aren't selling is you look through the top sellers and you can't see any AI designs, right? Like maybe that's an AI design, but I doubt it. Um, a lot of these are like, classic graphic design stuff, graphic graphic art stuff, right? Uh, this probably is an AI design, but uh, for the most part, when you look at an AI design, you can really tell that it's made by AI. So let me show you, share with you a few niches. So first niche here that you may not have thought about is wolf. So I'm gonna type in wolf. I'm gonna do this grid here. And you can see this kind of thing is done by AI, this kind of thing with cats done by AI, right? This right here, um, I don't know for sure they're done by AI, by AI, but you can see when you look at it, like it looks like it was done with AI, right? And kind of the fuzzy edge, people are just cropping that out. Um, and, and we can see that the nice thing about Amazon or pretty merch on Amazon, you can see this was uploaded in April. Uh, and then you can see how many sales and what it's sold at. So I'm gonna share with you four that I found on here. You can see there's a lot more that's an AI, that's an AI, this is probably AI with the glasses, uh, slots and so on. So this one um, is a really good one uh, if you're thinking about doing some AI. And here are some examples. So I'm just taking these four examples right here that I picked from Pretty Merch and let's go to this one. So we can see this was uploaded only three months ago uh, selling at a price of $19.95, which gives you an estimate. Now these are on the, are on the standard shirts of right now, uh, 486 royalty. So you times 486 times 50 sales in the last three months and you get $243, right? This person who made this with AI pretty much looks like it was done in AI. You can see it's even a rectangle right there. I'm, 
uh, black rectangle you can see, but they're making $243 with this one right here. Let's do another one. This one right here, Starry Night, right, with definitely AI, well, not definitely, but pretty much looks like an AI design. Uh, what then was done, again, was done in April, uploaded in April, selling at $18.95 uh, with a 412 estimated royalty, sold 99 already, 99 sales with a total revenue of $407 for this design that was made on AI, right? Let's do another one. This one right here, 4th of July, um, uploaded again only four months ago now. Uh, this was uploaded in June, uh, 1999 price, 489 royalty. Uh, you can see 88 sales, $430, right? And this isn't even the biggest one. This one, I saved the biggest one for last. Right here, it looks like AI, right? Uh, uploaded in April, again, 1999, 98 sales, $472 for this one in Wolf. So Wolf's is a huge one. You can see this is just four examples. And for those of you that think, man, it takes a long time to get some sales. And um, these people who make a lot of sales have been on here for years and years and years. Look, it's just six months ago, just six months ago. And these are all different um, brands, by the way, you might have noticed that they're all different. So uh, let's go and find another niche. I promised you five niches. This is just one. You can see it's very profitable. Let's go find another one. So the next niche I want to share with you is cottage core. You may not know what that is. I've done a video for it, but it's basically like outdoors, nature, uh, lots of flowers, lots of mushrooms, cute things like frogs and uh, foxes and things like that. You'll see on here. So check a look at this. This is cottage core. And right away you can see some things that look like they're done on AI, right? This kind of looks like it was done on AI. This kind of looks like it was done on AI and so on. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just pick four of them. Uh, that look like AI that were done in the last six months or so, uh, some of them even earlier. So let's go to that. All right, so here we go. Cottage core examples. I'm going to do these right here. They look like they've been done on AI. Like we see the starry night thing. Uh, this one looks like just flowers. And notice none of these have words on them, just like the other one. These are just straight AI designs, no words, right? And a lot of times, um, and on one of them you saw in the previous example, they didn't even cut off the edges. It was just straight um, rectangle. So let's look at this one. This one again, no, I, I'm sure they upscaled it, but they didn't even cut out the background or anything like that. Um, just two months ago, uploaded, selling at $17.99, 50 sales already, made $170.50, right? Let's do another one. This one right here looks pretty much like AI. Um, you know, you got the flowers and the moon uploaded five months ago, $17.99 with 341 royalty, 96 sales already with the uh, times that together, you got $327 and 36 cents. Um, let's see another one. This is cottage core. This one I really like, um, in the background. Now AI is not going to get this correct all the time, but you can see this looks like something that was done in AI with the moons and the mushrooms and everything. So um, it says goblin core and cottage core and mushrooms. So those are some other things that you, keywords that you can put on there. Five months ago, selling at $19.99 seems to be a very popular price to sell your t-shirts at. 67 sales made $327. Now this last one is the best one here that I found on cottage core. And it's this one right here. It's just flowers, right? Vintage Flowers Botanical. AI can easily do this, either Leonardo or Midjourney. And you can see this was uploaded only six months ago uh, in April. And $17.99 made 166 sales for a total of $566.06. Now these are just examples of cottage core and there were more on there for cottage core, but you can see cottage core is a great niche to do if you're doing AI designs. So another niche I want to share with you that's really, really popular is the Japanese niche. So I just typed in Japanese right here. Um, and again, these are based off the keywords in here. So you can see samurai Japanese, Japanese sunsets on that all traditional Japanese, but that's how people tagged it. So we're going to go through here and kind of look what things look like they were uh, made by AI. Now this kind of looks like it was made by AI. This one, I've seen this kind of thing a lot with the cars. I, I think that was done by AI. Um, the samurai, this right here, um, this definitely is an AI. Well, 
I keep saying definitely, but it looks a lot like AI, right? I've, I've done these kinds of things before with a cat and a samurai sword. This one, this one looks very much like an AI. Let's zoom in on here uh, and see it. Right, this, and they're, I mean, they did the edges here, but this looks very much like an AI uh, design, right? Uh, and we got more and more here. So let's see how much of these made. Uh, just take four of these, like there's a bunch right here that you can see looks like AI, looks like AI. But I'm gonna just take four again, four examples here and show you how much they made um, with AI or with sales on Amazon. So these are the four that uh, I'm gonna look at. They look like AI designs to me. So let's go with this one first, the Cat Samurai or Ninja. You can see uploaded in May, only five months ago, selling at $16.99. This person probably could get away with $19.99 like some of the other ones, but they've only, they're only making $2.67 on their royalty with the 67, still not bad, $168 in the last five months, right? Definitely can pay for that mid-journey subscription. Okay, this one here, this really looks like an AI design to me. So uh, this was uploaded six months ago in April, and you can see $19.99, that price that people like, 51 sales, $249.39 already with this design, right? Now I'm not showing you these designs to copy it, I'm just showing you that you can make Japanese designs with AI and you can make get some sales, right? These are examples of that. Don't go and just copy this same one and make that because that's not a great strategy, but you can put it in this niche. So here's another one. Um, again, don't copy Godzilla doing a painting, but you could do Godzilla doing different other things, right? Uh, here, 1895, uploaded in May, and 290 sales for a total of $1,194, right? AI designs in five months, that much, right? That's not even the best one. This one here is a car. We've seen this one a lot. I've seen these a lot on uh, Leonardo and Mid Journey can do the same thing, can kind of vector art with this retro car drifting with the mountain in the background, right? Five months ago, 1999, 368 sales for a total of 1799.52, right? Japanese designs do really well on Amazon, and I think it can do really well on some other ones. This this kind of looks like a red bubble design, if you ask me. So try these out, um, these Japanese designs. So we got two more niches for you, and these are even better than the first three. So let's go and find these other ones. So the next niche I wanna share with you is UFO. Now, the reason why UFO does really well for AI is because it can make photorealistic things um, look like they're real, but they're not, right? So for example, you got this cat with UFOs, obviously not real, but AI can make things that look like that. It can also make things like this with the cats and the UFO. We can make, it can definitely make this kind of thing where it's more um, vector based, but it still looks like it was done with AI, right? So uh, a, a lot of these on here, I'm not gonna share with you all of them, but look like these kinds of things definitely can be done with AI. That definitely looks like an AI thing with the uh, dinosaur and the cat here and so on. Uh, this one, look, the Starry Night thing. Like this Starry Night thing is used throughout a lot of different things, right? So um, yeah, the Starry Night thing looks to me like it was done in AI. So I'm gonna use that one along with some other ones and let's look what how much they made. All right, so we got the Starry Night, the cat, uh, and these two selfie cats right here. So let's take a look. Uh, first one, the Starry Night one, only two months ago, right? Already got nine sales, $17.99, $30. Not bad, you made your mid-journey money back, but I'm sure this is gonna take off for Q4 too. It's just getting started. Uh, how about this one? This uh, selfie cat with the, it, this is so funny. Uh, $16.99, uh, you can see three months ago, not that long ago, 55 sales already though for $146. Uh, and this one, kind of the same take, but with more of a, um, vector-based thing, which I think AI can do really well. It looks like AI to me. Only three months ago, 62 sales, 250, but I've saved the best for last year. And this one looks like AI to me. You can see it didn't even cut off the edges um, and they probably upscaled it. Six months ago, right, in April, 2099, 
got 414 sales for a total of $2,330.82, which is incredible, which, which you can think that uh, that didn't do that much. Like it just, I'm, they probably put it in Mid Journey, uh, cat taking a selfie with UFOs behind it, right? And a black and white version. And there you go. And uploaded in April when I did my Leonardo video. And yeah, making making a ton of sales right now. So here's the last niche that I want to share with you, and it is Gothic. Now there's more niches than this. If you want to see more niches, let me know in the comments, but I'm going to end with this one, the fifth niche here, and it's it's really great. This is Gothic. You may not have thought of that. Uh, and look at some of the variety here. You got this one with the ghosts. Um, you got this kind of thing, just really graphic kind of Gothic. You got, um, you know, some other things here. This is really cool. I think this is a cross between Gothic and Japanese. So you got some cross niching here. Um, definitely a lot of skulls and things like that and some really um, intricate kind of stuff like this so uh, here's another one right here so I'm gonna show you I just picked four of here but you can see a lot of these don't have words which is great for AI and a lot of them are very intricate you can see this could look like it was done in AI and some of them have like some of them do have words under them but uh, a lot of them don't right so they work really well so let me just pick four here I'm gonna do these. Uh, I think these look like AI to me, and so do these. So I'm kind of going off of the ghosts and kind of this um, enchantress kind of anime style too, which kind of has that cross niche. So let's look at these. This one uploaded four months ago, uh, 1999, 22 sales made it $107 already, right? This one right here, kind of the same idea, uploaded six months ago, made 46 sales already. $291, but let's take a look at these ghosts. So ghost camping, which I think because of the timing where a lot of people are camping and reading and like it's crossing a lot of niches, right? We got ghosts, we got reading, we got camping, we got gothic, we got teachers. So I think because of that, it got a lot of sales in the last three months, 382 sales, selling at 1986. Thousand eight hundred twenty nine dollars and seventy eight cents, right? If you time those together, and I saved the very best for last. This one right here, uh, ghosts in the forest, gothic T-shirt, just vintage. You can see they didn't even cut off the edges. It's just that straight, upscaled version. It was uploaded four months ago, and it made five hundred and ninety three sales for a total of twenty eight hundred and forty dollars and forty seven cents, just with an AI design um, that was uploaded again. Um, this was uploaded just in June, so not that long ago, and it's already making tons of sales. And we'll, all of these, I think, will continue to make lots of sales in Q4. So there you go, 20 examples of AI designs that were sold recently on Amazon and making tons of sales, all different genres, all different niches. You can see some of those niches are better than others. Again, research is key. I had to go in there and kind of look for these niches and find out which niches are are better than others for AI designs. And you can do the same research there. It didn't take me very long to find these five. I'm sure there's lots more out there that uh, work for AI. Only specific niches work for AI. Not everything will work for AI, but you can see you can make a ton of money uh, selling AI designs on Amazon or Redbubble or TeePublic or Etsy or wherever you are. I know these are just Amazon examples, but I needed, like I said, to use that pretty much tool so that you can see that they're selling. There's no real good way to do that on some of the other pod sites. So if this was really helpful for you uh, to show you that AI can uh, do these designs, I want to share with you this right here. This is my AI playlist. You can look on how to use AI, including Leonardo, Mid Journey, and Ideogram on there. Thanks again for watching. Again, I hope this video was really helpful for you. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.